Hey guys, it's Kevin. Remember this video two years ago? Uh, I'm going to give you an update on the, this Air 0x69. I'll put a link to the previous video above. I'll try to explain to you those uh, 0x69, 0xEA, and 0xF1, what those errors are. When you start a printer, the printer has no idea where the printhead is. So it's trying to move all the way to the right until it stopped. Then we'll decide that that point is the furthest it can go, so it said it'd be point zero. Uh, then it use this clear belt, which has uh, little tiny marks on them, and it measures how many marks it goes to the left, and uh, that way it can measure its location. This uh, R69 is because it's moving from zero a little bit, then I get it dragged and stopped by something. Luckily, this guy going to drag it. So it moved a little bit, but it got stopped, cannot, cannot move anymore. Uh, let's just say if the stop mark to be less than like 250, then display this air, Zerax 69. And another situation is that if you have this cover open, and the cover going to get stopped right here, so Epson program another error message. Let's say if the mark is, let's say, 300, then display this ink cartridge cover is now latched. Even if you do not have that uh, cover, you just throw it away. That's the first thing I do I, whenever I get a new printer, I just throw that cover away. Even if you do not have a cover, is and the cartridge somehow get uh, stopped at, at uh, this location, you're going to have that error. So the whole thing depends on where the printer gets stopped. Let me enter the open the uh, cover, so the printer guy is gonna get uh, stuck at different locations. And uh, right now it's trying to move to the right and uh, get stopped by the cover. And you can see the error code is uh, 0xf1. I'm just using the cover as a tool, and uh, your problem might not be the cover, okay? Uh, next thing is, you can see the whole thing is between the belt and uh, the mechanism stops the uh, the print at uh, different locations. And also the sequence and timing is important. The Epson uh, startup, they, uh, they, they are not uh, followed exactly the same routine. They have a different set of startups. And also, uh, let me show you. So I'm going to close the... Uh, I'm going to close the lid first. So now I allow it to go all the way to the right, and then I open it. So although it's the same thing, it's trying to move to the right, it gets stopped. But this time, it went to the right before. So now it's going to be a different error. It's going to be 0xEA error. So to troubleshoot this, you have to uh, focus on the timing belt, the clear belt on the back, and uh, the mechanism stops the printhead. So the first thing is uh, you make sure this cable is clean, this is uh, a clear cable, and uh, therefore the location is recorded accurately. And then it's likely this thing is re, re and uh, and go get underneath the printhead. This thing is called uh, with ink collection assembly. So this part, uh, it can slide back and forth and also can go up and down. Uh, there are some very intricate mechanisms below you don't want to know. Uh, basically, if you drop the printer, especially drop the sideway, it could get stuck. Uh, if you really want to fix it, come to my house and we spend a weekend together. Uh, however, uh, some parts um, you may not be able to fix or you don't have time to fix. If you just want the whole unit, how do we do sell it? Go to bchtechnologies.com and uh, go to printer parts for Epson and uh, it's the waste cleaning part. And you can see this, this thing look awesome, like a car engine. <laughs> And uh, okay, uh, it might be not be fifteen ninety nine. Okay, I get a lots of uh, people email me. Say, hey, it's show the fifteen ninety nine. Now it's twenty fifth, twenty five ninety nine. Okay, yeah, I made ten more bucks. Sorry. And also uh, on the same page, the installation video is kind of not really focused. So I'm going to shoot a new video. Uh, once the new video is done, I will say update it. Okay, but uh, this video has a fair amount of. Uh, installation and to get you started. 
and don't buy it yet, and your problem may not be the WIC assembly, and also your WIC assembly may self-recover. So let's see if we can save you some money. To see if we can self-recover, you need to slide this thing all the way to the left and until it clicks. It's a hard push. Don't worry if you break something. It's broken already. Now let's do it for real. And now go ahead and restart the printer. And uh, what, that, what that does is uh, it creates a fault position. So the printer has to adjust itself. So it goes through a whole bunch of adjustments. Hopefully, one of the adjustments will uh, fix your problem. And pay attention, see if uh, the, plaf the white platform can go down or not. Just look at it. And uh, just a second. You can see it can, it can go up and it can go down. And uh, if it does that, that's a good sign. And uh, look at this guy. So that's probably going to work. See, when the printer moves, it's uh, dragging that thing. So the printer lowered it and it's not going to drag it anymore. Lower it. Oh, by the way, the printer has a different size of the start startup uh, sequence. Uh, it depends on when you shut down the printer, whether the printer has a jam, the paper has a paper jam, or uh, when you shut it down, the, what's the position of the of the print at the last location. So, um, so that's why we set the location be in the middle, and we we'll create a fault by ourselves. So the printer will hold, go through the whole adjustment. And you can see right now, uh, the print head is not dragging that piece of uh, plastic anymore. If you still see it dragging that plastic piece, that means the whole assembly is out of line and uh, you probably need a new one. I, I cannot guarantee uh, replacing the waste tank unit can fix the problem, but that pro I'm just saying that, prob that probably where the problem is. Uh, so I'll speed it up a little bit. So basically, you can see the printer is not dragging it. Everything's fine, and uh, eventually, the printer uh, come to a conclusion that there's no error, and uh, you can keep using the printer. I hope you enjoyed this video. Visit us at www.bchtechnologies.com or locally, Greensboro, North Carolina. Cheers.